Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Today we are going to be doing a speedrun. We are going to play as Germany and conquer the entire world as quickly as possible and I'm not going to use Order 66 at all. I personally love it, but I don't have to use it and some of you really don't like it, so it's good to do a game without Order 66 from time to time. And that is what this is going to be. So rules, I am an historical regular Germany and we need to conquer the entire world as quickly as possible. Now I really, really hate micromanagement, so I'm probably going to be using something like pure infantry and just let my generals use the uh, frontline orders, which is not the fastest or the most efficient way of doing this, so if you want to do it but actually micromanage everything, you can probably shave off like two years of the time I'm gonna get. Honestly, one of our biggest limiters is gonna be war justification times. Alright, let's go! Historical focus is Ironman mode regular difficulty. Germany. Now I came up with a pretty cool way of doing it with opposing Hitler, um, but it does rely on Order 66 and we're not doing it today, so we'll have an entirely different approach. No focus necessary at the start. Let's research some paratroopers to quickly take over France, some infantry equipment because we need to move fast, some generic research and a doctrine. We're switching to mass assault. As for construction, let's focus on military factories for now. I'm going to let the Miffle bills expire, but we might as well make a good use of them. What else? Let's make some fighters and some transport planes. Just fighters, transport planes and infantry equipment. Let's also make sure to train up as many units as possible. Speed the game up and go. Why am I not doing a focus right away? Well, because we want to start justifying our first war goal immediately. Okay, let's start justifying on France. Give me Alsace to Lorraine. 50 political power, 250 days, 18% world tension. Yes, we're starting by attacking France. And our first focus is going to be army innovations. I just need the experience and start deploying units. We really don't care what these units are, we just need a lot of them. Let's promote some generals. All the ones with the brilliant strategist trait. Army innovations done, time to invest in the four years plan. With army innovations done, let's create a new division. Just infantry, just one battalion of infantry. It's gonna be called Tiny, train lots of these. Right now, all that matters to us is the number of units, not the size or capabilities of these units. So I'm gonna switch all the ones that have already deployed to that template as well, so we can recover some equipment and deploy new ones faster. I am keeping this whole army of infantry unchanged. Why do I need to deploy that many units? Well, because of the silly limitation on special troops, like paratroopers. Uh, this is how we circumvent that easily. Just need to deploy lots of units. I am focusing on the immediate upgrades that will boost our units right now, because we need to be combat ready very soon. Let's hire a silent workhorse, outer key, and the methyl bills are expiring. So let's focus on civilian industry now. Paratroopers researched, wonderful. We can now use that other five experience to create a new paratrooper template with just one paratrooper. Paratrooper template one is such a boring name. You're gonna be known as Sky Germans. Not actually making any Sky Germans yet, we're going to be switching to them from other templates. Von Manstein, our field marshal. Let's give him some traits, aggressive assaulter, Offensive Doctrine and Charismatic. 60 days until we're ready to attack France. I think it's time to start getting our attack plans in order. Let's cancel all these. We have a lot of units deployed. See, this is important. We can currently make 24 divisions of Sky Germans um, because of how many troops we have in the field. But if I quickly switch all of these guys to just infantry, our limit of Sky Germans is going to go up quite a bit. 134 divisions of Sky Germans. That's a bit much. Let's just make 120. Let's select 120. That's going to be an entire army group of Sky Germans. Also, let's make sure that it's an elite template. We need them to get full equipment. Now, all the rest of you go back to being tiny. A student, our paratrooper commander. And the others don't matter that much, so just high level guys. The ones with the brilliant strategist trait first, because we will want to promote them to field marshals later. So you guys secure the marginal line. Also, let's take all our navies and merge them. Deploy our transport planes. Also, don't need more transport planes, let's cancel that. Time for some paratrooper orders. One paratrooper to each of the French victory points in range in the northern France. Just northern France, because I don't want to cover too many air zones, and this is going to be more than enough. Well, except for the marginal line itself, the order is set all the victory points in northern France, plus all around Paris. Activate the order. We need air superiority in northern France, and we also need air superiority in western Germany. This should be enough, I think. The other paratroopers are just standing by in case we need them. Autarchy completed, let's do Hermann Geringwerke and hire a silent workhorse. 
If all goes well, it will only take us days to defeat France. I might not have enough uh, planes on air superiority in France, so let's switch this around a little bit. Should be a bit better. The war goal is ready, the paratroopers are in position. Let's declare war on France. And unpause. Now, I probably should have given the orders in a different um, sequence, because they would get Paris faster. Let's just slow this down a bit so that we can pause right before they surrender. Okay, they'll capitulate at midnight, and then we should get a peace conference next midnight. So let's start justifying our next war goal. And I think it should be Belgium. Belgium is small enough that justifying on them should not increase the world tension enough for France to join the Allies, while they will get guaranteed by Britain, and Britain is who I really intend to attack. Also, I'm recording this while taking care of my son. What do you think? Should we invade Britain? Mm. Let's wait for France to capitulate. There we go. And next midnight we should get our peace conference. There we go, peace conference. Now, I have a few options here, I could puppet them, I could annex them, I think I will make a combination of the two, take most of their stuff while puppeting them with just one province so that I retain their fleet. So, take all states, apart from Brittany, it seems like a good base for their fleet, and turn, and now puppet, and turn, done. All right, stop your attack, and now it's time to get ready to fight uh, the British. Belgium is guaranteed, perfect. Now we're going to need several more armies of infantry. What we're going to do exactly is mm, do some naval invasions and paratrooper invasions on Britain. I can only navally invade with 10 units at a time. You guys are taking this port, you guys are taking Dover, you guys are taking Portsmouth, and you guys are taking Plymouth. While the rest of you just station near the area. Right, I'm gonna need about two armies to take care of Britain. I'm gonna need an army securing the Polish border, and another one for Spain, if we can make that work. Depends if the civil war triggers or not. And I'll need some more for Czechoslovakia, but we can adapt to the paratroopers and, you know, switch them over. We won't need that many paratroopers later. Now let's relocate all our planes over here. The British have good air force, but it is enough if we just take one port and then I can just ferry more troops over there. So I'll only need a moment of air superiority and we should be able to achieve that. Yugoslavia, we don't care. All our planes are in Calais. This should be enough for momentary air superiority, which should let me drop at least a few paratroopers. And those few paratroopers are going to the ports. Oh, I forgot to use the glider planes order when I was invading France. In reality, we'll probably only have time for a few before the British reorganize their defense. Herban Gering Werke is done. Kada F. Wagen time. We also have a navy. Let's make sure they all do convoy escort in the English Channel and rebase over here. That should help a little bit. Make sure to activate all the orders we have. And now we wait for our war goal. Our war goal is ready, but Spain has started its civil war, uh, which will make it impossible for me to quickly and easily conquer Spain. Oh well. Let's change the target then. I suppose Czechoslovakia is a good target for us. Now we could do oppose Hitler and all that, but we don't need to, so let's just bypass Rhineland. I should probably be doing Anschluss before I started Kadev Wagen, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Let's hire an army offense expert. I somehow missed that my war goal completed quite a while ago. Okay, that's silly of me. Must have clicked it away. Never mind. Let's just attack. We are ready. Send and immediately call in France, because we can use their fleet. Britain has been called in, I should achieve a superiority, at least temporarily, good. Now my paratroopers should start going to Britain, and I'm holding one port, which is more than enough. So you guys, who don't have orders right now, go to that port. Belgium joins the Allies, also I am at war with a major power, so I can start justifying my war goals quickly. There we go, Poland, 25 days, how about Czechoslovakia? That would be also 25 days. Czechoslovakia is actually a good um, target, because Romania will join the faction, but let's start with Poland. And the British have finally brought enough planes to prevent our day one paradrops, so no more paradrops. We have our superiority, just not enough of it, which is unfortunate. What matters is that our troops are on their way to Britain, both the naval invasions and the normal group. Let's make sure to connect all this territory, so that we can have an easier time managing everything. Now I could rush London and take it, but I actually don't want to take London. Why? Well, it is slightly complicated. Essentially, I don't want to win this too quickly. I want to have all the important victory points surrounded and be ready to win whenever I want, but not just yet. We could very easily take London, because there are no enemy troops there. Actually, this army is going to garrison all of Britain, but just uh, the ports. We don't want any pesky naval invasions. And make sure to not go to London or Birmingham, 
or Manchester, Leeds and Sheffield. We want to keep those surrounded but not taken. We must make an effort to not take their most important victory points. Okay, London has been cut off. Also, we've gained some military experience. Let's get rid of the support artillery. All right, I forgot, we don't need those planes anymore. Just infantry weapons from now on. And it's time to do Anschluss. Now, this might seem stupid to you, but there are advantages mm, to being at war with Britain and being able to end that war at any time we choose. And that is why I am leaving these victory points uh, not taken. Well, we have to control them manually a little bit. Justification on Poland is ready. I don't need to attack immediately. But hell, they took Sheffield. Yeah, that garrison order is not working out. I need to switch it up. Uh, fortunately, they did not take Manchester or Birmingham or London which is enough to keep the United Kingdom from capitulating. In the meantime, time to justify a war goal on Czechoslovakia. That will also put us at war with Romania, which is fine. And meanwhile, my guys are not doing too well down in France because they don't have guns. It really doesn't matter if we win against Belgium and Czechoslovakia and Poland and so on. What matters is that we fight them and we beat the British, because the Brits are the only major power in this equation, which means I'll be able to annex all of them. We have some paratroopers here. How about we move them over to Denmark? Italian volunteers. Do we want Italian volunteers? Not really. They might mess things up here. War goal against Poland is available until March. We'll wait. Justification for Czechoslovakia is ready. So we'll have Poland, Czechoslovakia, possibly Romania. I don't really want to do Netherlands right now because of the Dutch East Indies. They can be a problem sometimes. I guess we can do Hungary. Justify war goal. Transdanubia, that's fine. The British have deployed some troops in London. Secure on the front lines here and here and here. Do not activate the orders, just surround them. Probably should have done that immediately, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like the English troops can do much over here, I just don't want them to spread. Now, when the time comes, it's enough for me to activate this order, and we win. They're trying to land naval invasions, but I have protected the ports. Belgium's being super aggressive, and they have volunteers. Not really a problem. Interesting, though. Justification on Hungary is complete. Who else should we invade? I'm thinking Yugoslavia, then Denmark and Switzerland. That kind of makes sense. Probably should have justified on Yugoslavia rather than Czechoslovakia, because Czechoslovakia guarantees Yugoslavia. And then on Greece, because Romania guarantees Greece, but it doesn't really matter. It will be fine. The Belgians are causing us some trouble. Let's make this army aggressive. And here goes the Anschluss. Wonderful. Plus some extra troops I can use to invade Hungary. Also, it is time to declare war on Poland, because our war goal is about to expire. Again, I don't need to win these wars, so it's not a problem that I'm fighting all of them at once. If I start losing, I can just trigger the order over here and we'll just win immediately. There is no reason to do any of these right now. Let's do the extra research thought. Yep, Poland join the Allies. Let's take another army, move them over to Yugoslavia. Just paratroopers, I should probably switch them to infantry. Same for the ones on the border with Denmark. Let's switch to extensive conscription and get an infantry expert. Another justification complete. Who's next? Time to justify a war goal on Denmark. Also, let's modify the infantry division. No more engineers. And 20 with infantry. We're having problems because I don't have enough guns. That will change soon, and it's not really an issue right now. Our troops here are getting killed. That's a sacrifice we're willing to make. Also, time to declare war on Czechoslovakia. Uh, are we at war with Romania as well? Yes, we are. And that's actually good. We also have war goals on Hungary and Yugoslavia, and we are working on being able to attack Denmark. Now, you guys... Surround Switzerland. That's gonna be our next target. And that was my son. What do you think Switzerland's not a good target? How about Greece and Bulgaria instead? As my son suggested, we don't really have time to waste on Switzerland. We need to declare all these remaining wars now. So, Hungary, Denmark, also invite Italy into our faction. What I'm gonna do is attack Spain. Nationalist Spain, because they're more likely to win the civil war. And I could also justify on Republican Spain. I will probably not use both war goals. It's not the most efficient way of doing it, but, you know, we want to be safe. Now that we've declared war on Denmark, Hungary and Yugoslavia, we need to let our guys fight for a little bit. I could wait a bit longer and attack more people, but we're clearly being pushed back by Czechoslovakia. So let's not risk it. Declaring war on Yugoslavia is a bit problematic. They will spawn Croatia, and we don't really want that to stop us from you know what's going on and um, so we want to wait for Yugoslavia to beat up Croatia which should happen very quickly before we proceed with ending the war no we don't want Croatia in our faction we want all the territory for ourselves I forgot about that probably should not have attacked them at all our justification on nationalist Spain is uh, ready because we have delayed we're going to cancel our justification on Republican Spain and restart it once again it's gonna be faster that way 
Let's do Reichsautobahn. Croatia has been taken care of. That basically means we can end it here. I could wait a little bit longer, but if Poland and Czechoslovakia get uh, more territory, they might turn into major powers, which would be really problematic for me. So how long until we are done with the war going Republic in Spain? Too long. So, we'll continue justifying on both Spains and start one on, say, Switzerland. And activate the order and beat up Britain. Come on, take London. They have surrendered. And all of that is mine. Oh, actually, I can get Romania. That is surprising because I thought they wouldn't participate in the war, but apparently they had enough time to get their troops here and actually participate. Not really a problem, although... Um, if we were still at war with the Allies after this, we would be able to do everything faster. Not a problem. Let's start with stealing the British Raj and Malaya from Britain. Oh, who called in Italy? I did not. No matter. Let's start by satelliting British Raj and British Malaya. Let's pass a couple times. Ah, oh, Italy took some Yugoslavia. Not a problem. Next up, United Kingdom. Don't you just hate when take all states disappears and you just can't click it for no good reason and have to click all the states manually? Come on. I'm gonna have to do that manually. We're going to take everything from Britain. Well, almost everything. I'm going to puppet them with just one bit of territory so that we can steal their fleet. So much clicking. Right, that's all British territory and we're gonna leave them with um, Wales. And turn and puppet. What remains of Britain? Belgium we just take. Czechoslovakia we just take. Poland take. And the rest we also just take. And turn. Done. Thank you very much. It is May 1937. Interesting, I have not fought Denmark enough. So will the Allies consist of Canada, Denmark, New Zealand, South Africa and Australia. And Canada is apparently considered a major country because they lead the Allies. Let's send our troops over to Spain. Use Gibraltar as well. So, it's May 1937. We have 377 factories. And a lot of territory. Going well, could be a bit faster. We'll finish the war goal on the Republic in Spain and we'll declare war on both of them. And then, um, after we're done with Switzerland, we will attack Canada. Speaking of which, I think it's about time we send some troops there. Hindenburg incident and the Chinese United Front. Actually, we could attack the Chinese United Front and use that for quicker war goal justification. However, then we would have to compete with Japan at peace conferences, which can become a bit problematic. Also, German Raj and... Africa. We have war goals against both nationalist and republican Spain. Let's declare war on both of them. Okay, this changes things. Republican Spain joins Comintern. Um, I did not expect that, but maybe I should have expected that. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna send a lot of troops to the Eastern Front. Also, let's get rid of all the paratroopers. It's fine, they are about to complete the purge and they are not the direct target of the war, so they will be much weaker than us. I wonder if the Soviet Union will accept a call to arms from Spain. Yes, they have. Okay. We can handle them, although our troops are not in position, so we'll lose some territory. Tanu Tuva and Mongolia have been called in. What will we do? In that case, I'm actually going to call the Italians in. And the French and the British. Actually, everyone. In the meantime, get into Spain. Also, since we are at war with the Comintern, we'll be able to quickly justify war goals again. Unfortunately, we're also being pushed back because, you know, we are not securing the border. So let's go to free trade for faster research. The attack on Spain is going very well. Um, also, I forgot I have planes. Let's use them. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union, which is great because now they're going to be very, very weak. Now, they do get the Great Patriotic War boost, which offsets the purge partially, but not completely. See, minus 50% division organization, plus 45, it's still minus 5%. Even 5% helps. Oh, and our justification on Switzerland is complete. Sure, why not? Then again, Switzerland is guaranteed by Canada. We are kind of in position to kill Canada, but I forgot that we need to build ports here and infrastructure. So let's prioritize that and delay our attack on Switzerland. I know attacking on all fronts is not the smartest move, perhaps, but we can handle it. See, we're almost done with Spain anyway. The problem here is we don't have enough guns for our troops, but I am working on it. Reich's Autobahn is done and we can actually improve the national spirit, which is very powerful. And we can do that because we own London. Actually, I did not want to fight the Soviet Union just yet. I wanted to leave that for later, but you know, we can manage. Army regrouping expert. Both Spains still holding on. Uh, right, nationalist Spain is taken care of. Let's pass a few times. If Italy wants something, they can have it. And take all states. Is there anything left? Unfortunately, for some reason, the demands don't appear here. So I don't know if I'm not missing something. It was a next, and we got some equipment too. Republican Spain will be a next, next. 
Well, they'll capitulate, they'll not be annexed just yet, because we still need to defeat the Soviets. We are working on the ports and infrastructure in Canada, we're pretty much good to go, let's attack Switzerland. Also, two new armies became available to beat up the Soviets. Canada, Australia, wait a minute, Switzerland joined Comintern and called in Canada. I mean, it's not that weird, Canada was guaranteeing Switzerland, Still, they would usually join the Allies rather than Comintern. Ah, no matter. We'll win anyway. Let's justify him on Luxembourg. Let's call everyone in, especially France and Britain, because their fleet will be useful. They should be able to secure our landing in Canada. And you know, our troops are already there doing their jobs. This will take a long time, because Canada is quite big. How are we doing on those guns? Well enough. We kind of have to keep justifying and attacking people, because the work of justification timer is one of our biggest obstacles. Also, manpower could be better, but we will be stealing that from France and Britain soonish. Ah, improved national spirit. Wonderful. Let's do army innovations too, so that we can boost our doctrines. And Denmark did not join, they were afraid of us. We have deployed some of those tiny units, we will be switching most of them to just regular infantry, but for now I can use some of them to conquer Luxembourg. And let's justify on Portugal. You guys in Luxembourg yet? Yes you are, let's declare war. Luxembourg joins Comintern. We are leaving the Netherlands for a bit later, because you know, Dutch East Indies can be a problem. Lots of guns from Luxembourg. Switzerland should be capitulating. Perfect. Now it's your turn to conquer Portugal. Army logistics expert. Are we ready to declare war on Portugal? Yes, we kind of are. Let's declare. I really could use some more manpower. Now it would be ideal to annex France, for example, through Case Anton, but unfortunately, if you do Case Anton, as far as I know, you don't actually get their manpower, which is um, kind of crap. So we'll do that the normal way, which means I have to wait for more political power. We'll get Albania through Italy, no reason to waste our resources on that. Spain is trying to retake stuff down here, I'll have to send some troops there. Um, I guess I'll do Lithuania. Denmark has been called in. Well, finally. And we're getting through Canada. We mostly need Canada to get to the United States early and conveniently. Time for the MP38. Now I want to go to service by requirement, but we actually need more war support for that. So let's do war propaganda against Denmark. Portugal, taken care of. I guess I'll take up the bit of Spain here. Yeah, I kinda screwed up with Republican Spain and the Soviet Union. I mean, we'll win, it's just wasting time. Justification for Lithuania complete, let's do Latvia. German war economy. And Denmark capitulates. Good. That frees up an army for us. You guys will be going after... hmm... How about Iraq? If we can attack the Soviet Union from the south as well, that will be quite helpful. Justify on Estonia. And declare on Lithuania. We have enough war support to go to service by requirement, let's do that. Yeah, the war with the Soviet Union is draining our manpower quite a lot, it's a pity. We're going to Estonia ready, let's justify on Iraq. Military theorist, Portugal is invading in German Raj. Justification on Iraq, complete. Let's attack, let's justify on Saudi Arabia. Our war goal on Latvia is about to expire, let's attack them. Oh, are we finally pushing back against the Soviets? We might be. Right, let's uh, hire Goebbels, that's gonna increase our stability and war support. Let's declare on Estonia, so our war goal doesn't expire. Saudi Arabia, then Yemen, then Oman. Portugal holds some territories in Africa. Let's uh, send our troops to eliminate that element. The war in Canada. So slow. Infantry equipment designer. We have wasted so much manpower on the Soviet Union already. That's a pity. I'm gonna have to steal French and British manpower soon. We're in position to attack Saudi Arabia. Let's attack. Next focus, do we need anything else here? I don't think so, let's do construction repair, because there's stuff getting damaged constantly. Justifications for Yemen and Oman are complete, I think it's time we went after Iran. But I will need to attack it from two sides for it to be effective. I was hoping to use this army to attack um, Iran from the other side, unfortunately it looks like this is gonna take them a while. So we're going to need to procure another one, or more precisely, make another one. Switch to infantry, take up positions in a German Arage. Oh, we've broken through down here, nice. War goal on Iran is complete. I think we should now do someone easier, like Bhutan. I sort of have to keep going and justifying and attacking people, because the justifications do take quite a lot of time. Industrial concern. Time to attack Yemen. It would be more effective if we had troops here, but you know, we can't be everywhere. These guys that I sent to Lithuania, we don't really need them there. You are going to the Raj. It takes so damn long to get through Canada, doesn't it? Actually, one army would be more than enough here, but let's leave them where they are. July, time to declare war on Oman. Justification on Bhutan is complete, let's do Nepal next. Now, actually, South Africa is involved as well. Okay, then this army will take care of them too. I really don't want the war goal against Iran to expire, but we're not quite ready for the attack. So, let's cancel the orders on these guys 
and use them for Iran. And you guys do some capital rushing. Saudi Arabia capitulates, great. When we get enough political power, I'm gonna annex France. Justification for Nepal is complete. Um, Tibet. Next. Yemen capitulates, okay, we're very close to taking out the entire peninsula. In three days we lose our war goal on Iran, so it's time to attack. Oman capitulates. We keep getting inventory equipment for all these capitulating countries, which is quite convenient. Now, go to Bhutan. How are we doing against the Soviets? Slowly progressing. We are about to be able to annex uh, the French, so let's start land lease and send them a lot of convoys. That will reduce uh, their independence sufficiently for me to annex them. Of course, we are going to steal their manpower first. Justification on Tibet is complete. Let's do Liberia. Ah, wonderful human wave offensive. We're going to get some extra manpower from that. Also, it's time to attack Bhutan. Oh, come on, Canada. You guys just rush Vancouver. Bhutan capitulates. Time to attack Nepal. Invasion of Iran, going well. And we've researched the Pentagons. Wonderful. Let's switch all our production to them. So we're kind of out of steel because of that. We'll have to switch our economy soon, but now let us focus on annexing France. It's time to use up their manpower. They have 300,000, that's quite a lot, but I'm gonna give them back all their territory. Oh, and let's switch to gentle on all our occupation. I don't want to waste political power on it. France, return territory. 400,000 manpower, that's not great, but it's also not nothing. Let's create a colonial template from French troops. Let's switch all this infantry to the French template. And now we drain the French manpower that way. We have drained the French manpower. We can annex them. Boom. And that saves us quite a bit of manpower. Now you guys can go back to the regular German template. Soon we're gonna do the same thing to the British. War goal on Liberia complete. I guess we'll do Afghanistan next. Nepal capitulates. Good. We have one against Canada. Perfect. South Africa annex. Canada. Annex and turn, pass, pass, annex, and done. And we are now perfectly positioned to take out the United States. Now, you might say it's not the best moment because we're fighting the Soviet Union still, but you know, we're trying to do this as quickly as possible. So, we're going to attack the United States next, but I am going to need some more troops for that. See, the US is still weak. If I give them like two more years, they're going to grow strong and become a problem. I am a bit wary about taking the United States right now. It is risky, but I feel like we have to do it. Full of Kiev, cool. Also, let's declare war on Tibet before the war will expires. I keep forgetting that I have planes. Let's send them over here. That's a bit better. Oh, Willy, you done good. Let's switch to limited exports. Gonna need that steel. Hmm. Probably should have done export focus instead. It doesn't really matter. And declare war on Liberia. I think we're gonna need some more troops. Liberia capitulates, which of course is a great. And let's justify on who. Hmm. How about Guatemala? Small, easy to conquer. And the United States will defend them. And from there we can take on Mexico. Now three armies is a bit little for the United States, but I'm confident in my troops. Iran has capitulated. Oh no, sorry, it's four armies. I did send one to Alaska. With Iran having capitulated, we can focus on attacking the Soviet Union from down south. And when you guys are done with Portugal and Tibet, you will take care of Afghanistan. Lithuania capitulates, finally. War goal on Guatemala is complete. Our next justification, Salvador. Yeah, the Soviets are in retreat, kinda. Declare on Afghanistan. Hey, Latvia capitulates. Of course, we could be more effective with encirclements and stuff like that, but... Micromanagement. Next justification, Honduras. Alright, I think we're good to go. Let's declare war on Guatemala and trigger the United States. Co-allies. Nope, Guatemala joins Comintern, which means the United States might also join Comintern. Which is very weird, but there you go. No, they have not. They have called in the Philippines, though. So, how are we doing against the United States? Uh, we are already progressing. Good. Guatemala capitulates. I actually should have started with Honduras, because Salvador has a lot of troops. So let's leave Salvador alone for now and start here. Soviet Union is slowly giving way to superior German troops. Let's do some more war propaganda and improve worker conditions. Okay, this is actually going better than I expected. The United States have nothing on the German infantry. Justify on Nicaragua, declare on Honduras. Honduras, of course, joins the Comintern. If you're wondering, Comintern actually comes from um, Comunistischen Internacional, Something like that. Oh, Salvador wants to send me volunteers. Clever. Because if I accept them, I won't be able to attack. Honduras capitulates. Zorg submits to Italy. Yeah, we'll be conquering Italy later, so we'll just take all that stuff. Hello, Salvador. Sorry, but it is time for you to be defeated. Always remember to give your guys traits.
Time to declare war on Salvador. In the meantime, how are we doing against the United States? Um, actually, very well. And the Soviet Union seems to have finally given up. So it's time to switch everyone to aggressive. Justification for Nicaragua is ready, continuing to Costa Rica. And finally, human wave offensive. Reduced infantry width and extra manpower. We can sure use that extra manpower. Fall of Washington and the Soviet Union is not long for this world. Salvador taken care of. Next, Nicaragua. March 1939, fall of New York. Let's declare war on Nicaragua. We're gonna justify on Panama, but we're not going into Colombia, not yet. First, I want to finish off the United States and Mexico. That is a lot of Russian troops that are about to be destroyed. Let's take these guys, send them over to conquer Ireland for me. And then we can take on Turkey. Afghanistan capitulates. Good. Declare on Costa Rica. And apparently, Venezuela wants to join my faction. I mean, it's an interesting proposition. It would make conquering Colombia and Brazil a bit easier. You know what? Yes, I will just kick them later, like Italy. Costa Rica capitulates. Panama, and declare war, and justify on Mexico. Dominican Republic and Peru also want to join my faction. Then we can attack Colombia from three sides. Hey, you know what I'm gonna accept, yes. They still hold Moscow, but not for long. That looks like that weird thing from the Moomin uh, cartoons. Hatifnat, something like that. At least that's what they were called in Poland. Oh, we're halfway there. Still need to take California and all that. Adolf Hitler angered by Mexican posturing. Panama capitulates and justification on Mexico is ready. Who should we strike at next? Let's do Ireland and then probably Colombia. The German Reich. Declare on Ireland. Oh, I know, Iceland. If we do attack them, hopefully Italy will land some troops and take care of Iceland for us. And our guys are at the Mexican border, so it's time to declare. Ireland capitulates, you guys rush of the coast. Oh, I should research better naval invasions. Anyway, you guys do a naval invasion of Iceland. Let's cancel that order. Let's just use two units. It's not like Iceland's gonna put up a fight. For the Moscow, but the attack on Mexico turns out to be more difficult than I anticipated. I think it might be time to get the Netherlands involved. Let's justify. Seems like we've broken the United States. 1939. The Soviet Union should be capitulating relatively soon. Maybe another six months, maybe less. Los Angeles is now the capital of the United States of America. Weird. Also, we're breaking the Mexican resistance. Declare on Iceland. Or naval invasion of Iceland. Go on, take Reykjavik. Um, I think it might be time for Colombia. Justify. Let's just rush Los Angeles and that should end the war. We're going to have to pop at the United States. They are an excellent source of manpower when they finally get their manpower laws in order. Yay for improved computing machine. And that's it for the United States. Now can I please satellite the Philippines? Yes I can. And pop it. The United States. And give them all their territories. The numbers don't match. Ah, whatever. Free American Empire. 3.6 million manpower, and they will get more. Why am I puppeting them? Um, well, for manpower and for the fleet. Also, they tend to aggressively navally invade sometimes. You guys get the Netherlands. Attack Colombia. And we are currently allied to the Dominican Republic. So let's take Haiti from their territory. Let's declare on the Netherlands. Bulgaria wants to join my faction. Sure, why not? Whoops. Sorry. Um... <laughs> Wrong button. We can use them to conquer Greece and Turkey easier. Guerrilla warfare and that completes our doctrine. What year is it? 39. Encryption and decryption time. Netherlands capitulate, great. Now with Britain, Italy and the United States and France are next, we are essentially the only ones with a fleet. Well, there's still Japan, but they can't really match our strength and, and the Soviet Union is weaker in fleet than any of these countries that we mentioned. Speaking of the Soviet Union, about to capitulate. I'm not justifying on anybody, that's a mistake. Finland, here we go. Iceland is taken care of. You guys go take on Finland. We have a war going on Colombia, but my troops have still not arrived there. Oh! We have defeated the Soviet Union. And the entirety of the Comintern. Cool! So, what do we want to do? How much manpower did Mexico have? I don't remember. Is it worth it to pop at them? Probably not. We should pop at the Soviet Union, though. Okay, I'm gonna pass a few times. Hopefully Italy doesn't do anything stupid. Take Eastern Switzerland. You're welcome. That's a lot of countries. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna annex everyone who is not the Soviet Union and puppet the Soviet Union. And satellite the Dutch East Indies, which is great because they are a very useful puppet. That is a rather sizable war, isn't it? Lots of clicking. Oh, interesting, we could liberate Morocco from Spain. But no. Should I puppet Luxembourg? Another time. Bhutan, and finally, we puppet the Soviet Union. And turn. Thank you. So, it is 1939 and we have conquered everyone apart from Scandinavia, South America and this whole region here. I think that's pretty good. Russia, how's your manpower? 30 million. Perfect. We still have war goals and we're still justifying war goals. Now, we're no longer at war with a faction, so our justification is slow. By the way, who's the leader of the Allies? Australia. If they guarantee Finland, that's good. If they don't, we'll just um, attack China next. After we're done with the war goal in Finland, of course. Oh yes, we have bypassed the Eastern claims. We're long past that. Let's declare war on Colombia. Also, if we want to have a successful campaign against Brazil, we're going to have to build up our infrastructure and ports in the area. Now, it is about to be invade China o'clock, so you just go to this area. And we're going to have to deploy a lot more troops to make full use of the Soviet manpower. Justification on Finland is complete, let's declare. Now, theoretically, it's possible that the countries we've attacked will form a faction, but they didn't. Okay, then. Time to attack China. 30 days. The problem with attacking China is that we will get a common peace conference with the Japanese, which means the Japanese will steal land all over the place. Um, but we can handle the Japanese. Invasion of Colombia going smoothly. Oh, right, I forgot. We need to call in Russia to attack Finland. Let's do that. Justification on China is complete. Now, should I declare or should I wait until we finish off Finland? If I don't wait, Finland will join the Chinese United Front, which could be slightly problematic. No, it's fine. Let's attack China. But we're not at war with the whole Chinese United Front, just China itself. Let's call everyone in. So I'm at war with a major now. We should be able to justify war goals quickly. How about Norway? Yep. And Colombia joined the Chinese United Front. Might not sound right, but it works. Xinjiang is still not involved. It should be soon. Right, you guys go to Shangxi. You go to Jibei Sanma. I think that's how that's pronounced. I'm not sure. You guys cover Xinjiang. Now, we don't actually want to win this too quickly. We just care about being at war with them so that we can justify war goals quickly. Colombia capitulates. What the hell? The Russian Empire and Finland have signed a white peace. Well, okay. It might be useful to put a restriction on this event if they're a puppet. Let's do Sweden next. Oh, Finland never joined them. Okay, I'll just annex everyone. Let's declare on Norway. Our troops are not in position yet, but they soon will be. Invasion of Norway, progressing nicely. Oh, they switched to Confederated States of America. Um, crap. Their manpower went down, that's a pity. But I'm mostly interested in them for their fleet. Justification for Sweden is complete, but I'm going to delay attacking a little bit. Let's get some military factories going. Just for on Haiti next. I think it's time to annex some people. How about Malaya? We have one and a half thousand convoys. Yeah, we do have a lot of them. Fortunately, we're also making a lot of political power every day. I'm delaying my attack on Sweden because one of the armies has not fully arrived yet. Also, this is my research. Just the important stuff. Nothing else. All right, most of the troops have arrived. Let's declare war on Sweden. Sweden joins the Chinese United Front. Justification for Haiti is ready. I think we should attack Brazil, because it's gonna take a while to defeat them. So it's good to start early. Just 10 days for justification. Cool. And declare war on Haiti. Haiti capitulates. Declare on Brazil. And justify on Cuba. Yeah, the attack on Brazil is gonna take some time. And we can annex Malaya. Do they have any significant manpower? No, so let's just annex them. And here are my convoys back. Who's next? These guys are doing nationalism focus, which means they'll get a lot more manpower soon. Let's leave them for later. How about the Russians? Yeah, let's exploit all that Russian manpower. Here you go. Have the convoys. Justification on Cuba is complete. Declare war. Next, Ecuador. Ecuador justification complete. Let's do Greece. I could wait for Italy to attack them, but that can take some more time. Japan is getting closer to destroying China. We can annex Russia now. Let's make sure to not waste their manpower. Let's deploy all these guys we've been training. That's one and a half thousand. Good. Copy a Russian template. 
This is a big one. Let's copy the infantry template. Switch all these guys to it. Oh, actually, I should also modify my own template because we have reduced size of units. Let's add two. I mean, we don't have to stay under 20, but it's supposed to be the optimal width, apparently. So, Russian manpower should drain almost immediately. There it goes. All went into my units. Let's annex Russia. It's gonna take a moment. Did I crash the game? Okay, it's done. And you guys can switch back to the small template. Ah, all that manpower. I think German Raj is gonna be next. Have the convoys. Oh, I forgot to activate the order against Ecuador. That's better. Stalingrad and Leningrad will be renamed to Hindenburg and Ludendorff. Hindenburg und Ludendorff. Ecuador capitulates. And so does Sweden. Next up, Greece. Well, we justify on Bolivia. The attack on Greece is going smoothly as expected. We're gonna need to kick a lot of people out of our faction soon. We can annex the German Raj, let's do that. And I think it's time for Britain. Did you change your manpower laws? You did not. There's no hope for that then. Here, have the deadly convoys of annexation. Can you guys manage to land here or do I have to land somewhere else? This won't work. Well, at least there was fighting, so when the whole war ends, we'll be able to take Cuba even without landing there. Oh, did I miss the war goal? Yes, I did. Let's justify on Chile and declare war on Bolivia. Let's modify this order. This will work better. Much better. Declare war on Chile and who's next? Paraguay. Oh, 40 days. Ah, yeah, they're communist. That takes longer. Where is Britain? There you are. Return territory. Not gonna be a lot of manpower. Liberation of London. Well, that's temporary. Manpower went up a little bit. Let's wait until it goes to the units. And next Britain. And Norway capitulated. And the three of you can wait a bit longer. And Greece capitulates. Communist China capitulates. Time is running out. We better hurry. Now it would be a perfect opportunity to just execute all the 66 on Japan, because we're in the same war, they would give us military access. Um, and invading Japan is quite bothersome. However, I have promised to not do that, so I will not do that. Attack Paraguay. Justification on Turkey complete. Declare war. Let's plot some more naval invasions from here. Wait a minute. We can annex America. What? Oh yeah, I built some factories for them, that's why. You guys ready to be annexed? They have zero units and 300 ships. That looks like ready to be annexed. Okay then, let's get that American manpower. Switch to American template. Wait for the manpower to be sent out. Annex. And switch back to the template. Let's select all of our many, many fleets. Just make one. Big one. Merge. We cannot merge navies if one of them is in combat. Alright, which one of you is in combat? Maybe it will be... Oh, it's out of combat. Merge. And your new order is going to be... Assist invasions in the Caribbean. And here. And here. Argentina. And we're only left with Uruguay down here. Who would have thought that invading Cuba is so much work? And they've capitulated. Good. I just realized I wasn't paying any attention to Turkey. And we're almost done conquering them. Well, that's called trusting your generals. Turkey capitulates. There we go, Uruguay. Who is left in the world? Siam. They normally join the Japanese faction, but, you know, they don't have to. Because we killed them first. Siam, there we go. Attack Siam. So we're just left with Japan and its puppets. Australia and New Zealand. Well, and South America. Oh well, I guess it's time to fight the Allies again. Maybe Italy will deal with them for us. Oh, we ran out of stuff to build. Okay, some more factories everywhere. See, I'm capitulates. What is my participation anyway? <laughs> Japan has more participation. Well, that is ridiculous, of course. We'll just have to destroy Japan. Now, what I think it might be better for us to declare war on Japan before this war is finished. Because even if they take something in the peace conference, that way they can't take stuff that I occupy. Justification for Australia is complete. Let's declare. And justify on Japan. I think it's time. Sign Tree Party Pact. No. <laughs> Must not risk antagonizing the world. Justification on Japan is complete. 
Time to attack. Sorry, Japan. I think we are at war with everyone who's not in our faction, which means I can activate all the orders. Not a problem if we defeat China now. No, no, we're not at war with Xinjiang. They did not join in the fight. So let's do them next. Oh, also, I forgot to send any troops here. I am tired. I'm doing this all in one day. I should have sent some troops into this area, but I did not. No matter, we'll lose some territory temporarily. Oh, you guys also did not join the war. We'll get right on that. We do have a huge navy, don't we? I think I should send it over to Japan. Pretty sure they'll be able to handle it. Battle landing crafts. The game won't be over before I can finish that. Ah, whatever. Yunnan has not joined yet. Let's just file on them. Now, where is that fleet of mine? The world fleet. So, well, that's pretty much it, isn't it? I guess we can go and annex the Philippines now. You guys are gonna do a naval invasion of Japan. And you go for this port up north. Also, we should annex uh, the German East Indies. Let's start land these. And send them the convoys of annexation. Getting closer to wiping out South America. Okay, here's my naval dominance. Yunnan, there we go. And we're still not at war with the Jiangxi. Click. And I think that's everyone. Apart from our allies. Xinjiang capitulates. Now we pretty much just have to beat up Japan, finish off China, and then kill our allies. If it capitulates, we can now annex. German, East Indies. Once triggered, the invasion of China is progressing very swiftly. See, I was holding back on that because I wanted to keep justifying quickly. Ah, finally, the best gun. Let's switch to that. Japan is very much like Britain. They do very well abroad, but they tend to not defend their home too well. So I'm hoping these naval invasions will pretty much end them quickly. Argentina and Chile are still resisting. I should probably redo the orders to make them more efficient. Chile San Mar capitulates. And my naval invasions should be launching now. Oh, they had an undefended port. Well, that was stupid, wasn't it? Here's a big attack order. Frontline orders are more efficient in attacking, but um, if you want to make sure that you don't lose the ports, just use the garrison. And if we combine the two, that's a win-win. Argentina has capitulated. That leaves us with just Chile in South America. Ah, and here goes the war. Which one? Oh, this one. Is Japan in the peace conference? No, they're not. That's great. Because, you know, sometimes if you have two factions fighting a third faction, uh, the peace conference get all wonky. And sometimes um, you can just get one side in the peace conference. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but it does. Let's pass a lot of times. Let's take all states in everything we can afford. I'm actually going to puppet Communist China. By puppeting Communist China, of course, we can, you know, feed them stuff and get endless, endless manpower. Take all states, disappear, as usual. I am going to give it all back to Communist China. And turn. And done. Japan still holds some of this territory, but not for long. It's time to start kicking people from our faction. Dominican Republic, kick from faction. You guys are gonna take on Venezuela. You guys take half of Peru, Bulgaria. Let's kick Bulgaria. You reinforce my attack on Japan. Northern part of Peru. Also, kick Peru. And kick Venezuela. That takes care of the American continent. I still need to conquer Australia, but we can do that after Japan. Let's start justifying on Bulgaria. Adolf, the betrayer. War on Bulgaria is ready. Troops in Bulgaria are ready also. Ah, we still have a truce. Next, Dominican Republic. How are we doing in Japan? Uh, we're slowly progressing. Could be better, but it's not bad. Declare war on Bulgaria. Really sorry, but I do need to take everything. Don't listen to that, Italy. It's not about you. Oh, also, let us annex the Philippines. Here, have some magical convoys. Justify on Venezuela. Yeah, right, that will take care of Bulgaria very soon. You were a good ally, but, you know, shouldn't trust fascists. And there goes Japan. Alright, let's pass a few times. And annex everything. Many of our guys are now free to pursue other interests. Like, for example, invading what's left of the allies. Now, I could make this more efficient by splitting it into multiple invasions. Um, then they would prepare quicker, but we don't have to do that. Bulgaria, take all states, please. War on the Dominican Republic. Yes, that's a very shitty move on our part. Wait a minute, do I still get quick justification while I'm at war with the Allies? Uh, yes, I do. Now, I need to find China on this list. It's not easy. Return territory. I don't need more manpower, but you know, 
if it's there, I'll take it. How much manpower is that? 59 million. I think I can find a use for that. A new war goal is complete. Venezuela, there we go. And Peru. Declare. And the next Philippines. And finally, there's just Italy. Sorry, Italy, my oldest friend. We have need of your territory. This would be so much faster with Order 66. Dominican Republic has been taken. Take all states, of course. And back to planning the attack on Italy. Do we have enough troops against Peru and Venezuela? Um, yes, it looks like we do. Venezuela is taken. And we can now deploy another thousand of these guys. The game's barely running at this point. Almost 3,000. You switch to the Chinese template. Now this should drain all of their manpower. Will it? Finally it does. Okay, now we annex. Now you go back to the tiny template. Lots of troops coming back into our reserves. In the meantime, all the rest of them will still be using the Chinese template because it's pretty good. Infantry template 7, but let's remove the support companies. We don't have the equipment for them. I mean, I could make it, but I can't be bothered. So, let's call it big. Make sure you're all using that template. Let's justify war goal in Italy. I'm sorry. But it is time. Taking out Peru. There you go, states. So we just have Italy, Australia and New Zealand left. Go invade New Zealand for me. There you go, the port is ours. And if the port is ours, everything is ours. My troops have arrived, time to attack Italy. We have divisions in their territory, where? Here. Why are you in Italian territory? Okay, how about now? We can, okay. Sorry, Italy, we just, you know, need everything. Ah, beautiful green. Now I just need to navally invade Australia. New Zealand, Australia. And Italy, the last three standing. They are putting up a fight. New Zealand capitulates and we've landed in Australia. Italy, how you doing? Actually, I think we're gonna need some naval invasions to speed things up around here. Super small ones that plan really fast. You guys attack from here. Here goes Italy. All states, please. The last one standing is Australia. How far are you from capitulation? Just a few provinces and there we go. New Zealand take all states, Australia take all states. Thank you very much. And we are the only country in the world. Countries. We have annexed the world. Okay, I'm tired now. I did it all in one day, and I feel like my words are not coming out properly anymore. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I wanted to prepare a special treat for those of you that don't really like all the 66 that much. I still love it, but you know, don't have to use it always. It's the 19th of January 1942 and we have annexed the world. I'm not claiming that's a great result, you can do it faster. But you know, I don't like micromanagement. If you try speedrunning under these circumstances, um, let me know in the comments what your time was. Also let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video. And one more thing. I installed Minecraft. I have no idea what I'm doing. So you may or may not see a video. Still don't know. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again soon.